I lost all my other video, but this is after the flooding. You see all that brown on the road? That's sewage. Look at it here. It's up my walls. It's just everywhere. This is supposed to be cement. That's sewage. That's sewage and dirt. Right here. I have been um ripping out everything because my food I cannot I will not eat it. My rhubarb I'm gonna rip it up, dig it out, it's gone. Look at you can see the sewage right here. That there, I planted potatoes in it. Well, I'm gonna be throwing them away. They're no good. I will not be using them. This here is my rabbit manure. It's been um, destroyed. I got to get rid of it now. Look at this. That's all human feces. All the way up. It was into my pots. I had all kinds of veg tomatoes and everything else here. But the water, you can see how high up it was. Way up into here. On this blade okay so that means the plants they were sucking that crap up literally my peach tree I, I'm getting rid of it my oregano it floated all the way to here I have to get rid of every bit of it there's my more vegetables that floated over those are going to get ripped up and thrown away. I lost all, everything. You can see where the tomatoes were lying at. I literally ripped up all the tomatoes. This mulch has got to get thrown away. There's an onion left that I, from what I ripped up. This was my corn. All of this has got to come out. All this soil is gone. It will not be used again. I mean, look at how high up this is. Okay. It's about three foot. Three foot, man. And it's got feces all over it. This had some of my rose bush. This had onions. I got to yank that one out. There was a berry bush in that one. This berry bush has got to go. I'm not going to sit there and do this with it. I mean, look at it on here. I mean, everything, man. Look at the feces. You can see it. Look at all this here brown. That's all human waste. Just covering. My garden is destroyed permanently for at least the next five years. I can't garden here no more for a while. And I know we're in a flood zone and stuff like that. But all of that's got to, I got to destroy it. I raised it. And the sad thing is that the people who are at fault for all of this sewage being everywhere and destroying people's stuff. I mean, dude, even my basement. My basement is loaded with sewage. I had to turn around and 
stand my hot water tank back up. It busted a pipe. I got to get the measurements to get all that done. I Let me do a quick show on that. Let me, here. There we go. I turned on the light. So that you guys know that it ain't no bull. This here was laying all the way out here. You see, I got my hose because I hooked up to the nozzle down there to try to get it out. But I finally got her stood up. But look at there. You can see it. The pipe is busted. There's the other part. So now... What I'm thinking about doing is taking, getting me a, um, uh, what is that called? A, give me one of these here hoses right here where it's got the shut off on it. All right. And then just take and hook it straight into here. Have it come up. Okay, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully I can do it right. But I need to get this and this here connected. When it came, it, it slammed this here so bad that it was floating. Okay. Now you can see that I'm not very far. It's like... I am literally bending over. Okay, it's the only way to stand up in this basement. But you can see how high this your furnace is. Look at this. It's all sewage. The all the wood, all of our flooring and paneling that we were we had is all destroyed. Everything. It was almost high enough to hit the meter box right there. It was just below it. It was just below it. But, look. Look at all the feces all over this. All that sewage back up. You could see. On the pipes, look at it was literally up to here, just at the top of the name. It was literally that deep in here. This hot water tank was in the air right in here, right over here. The only thing that was holding it on was this. Was this here cable? And that there are electrical wires. That and this is the only thing that was holding it. But yeah, we got that right there. Look, I mean. Lawnmower, it's done. It, it's baked. It's got feces all down in it. And I can't sit there and clean that out. But yeah, <coughs> this is why I order my, my potting soils. And even this right here, this mulch is no good. This mulch is no good. I have to dump it. It was up to here with feces water and I know you're sitting there probably saying well why don't you just use it anyways you know well the thing is though nowadays I don't know about you but Eating food that human feces is grown in 
you're you might as well be taking and using your own mouth as a toilet okay you don't know what sickness or what disease somebody else may have and if that is in the sewage then guess what's being thrown right into you and you see what i'm saying that disease, that sickness, or whatever, would, yeah, it's the sidewalk. Look at the damage it did. This is crazy. But, you know, for health reasons, because my wife, I grow it, and my wife uses it to make a lot of jams and stuff like that. So now even our wild berry bush here, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to get it out of here. I'm going to fix this up with a bunch of bleach. Bleach water. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill everything. I'm gonna kill all the soil. And I just think that things gotta get better. This here is a good reason, folks. To sit there and get you a nice grow tent, especially if you got animals. <coughs> Invest in a nice grow tent. Invest in some lights. And invest in some bags, some soil, and everything else. Because if you live in a flood zone where we found out supposedly or allegedly that our borough had shut the sewage drains all down. And when they did that, the whole town flooded over with sewage. And I guess now the senator or somebody like that is heading down here to the town. They're coming down here. And I guess they're coming with Pima, whoever Pima is, P-E-M-A. I guess they're coming with them as well. But this literally killed every bit of my growing my growing's done. And in my opinion, this is on the burl. This is on them. But you know what? Nothing will ever happen. Nothing will become of it. But I hope that the burl, that a, a lawsuit is filed on behalf of the residents right here who suffered to sit there and have their houses fixed up and everything else from any water damage. You know? Start getting that done because the borough needs to recompensate people for this and not people sitting there and dishing out the money first. Because this town is full of disabled people, elderly people, you know. So, you show me a disabled person who's on a fixed a income, alright. That's going to be able to sit there and dish out how much it's going to cost to get rid of all this feces here in the yard. Clean it all up. Clean up the basement. Repair any damages that may be associated with it you know the whole nine yards so i don't know you guys let me know what you think 
would you still eat the vegetables and fruit? Or are you like me? Because of sicknesses and diseases nowadays, it goes in the garbage. <laughs>